as you reach the front of the press of mankind, hoping for a brief respite from the uh, cloying atmosphere of the hold, there's a there's a, a man manning the door who, for a moment, has the same share of uh, quasi outrage that you guys are skipping in front of everybody's turn at free air. And then, as as excuses and reasons and justifications spring to all of your lips. You see that where everyone else was motivated by misguided fear of the gentle giant in front of them, he is motivated by a simple apathy of doing his job properly. And so he opens the door and lets you through. <laughs> Excellent. He, he doesn't get paid him. He doesn't get paid enough. Um, you, you you climb up through the holes and walk down the um the only real way to go. Um, you, you don't recall very well. The uh, the layout of the uh, of the boat. You, you have the feeling it's not the best maintained thing, and and the the hatch design isn't where it's supposed to be. But um, it's fairly easy to navigate because in front of you feels nice, and behind you feels like hell. Um, so you, you let that general general feel of fresh, dry air. By the way, it says something of the atmosphere you were just in that uh, sea air in a tossing sea seems dry to you. Ooh. At any rate. Uh... Nope. As you get up on the deck, you are at first immediately shocked by old instincts you have, because as you walk out, you realize it's night. I'm outside. I'm not inside a city. And you get ready to fight, and then you realize there are people keeping watch. The torches on the sides of the boat are keeping the mist at bay. It's okay, and you all kind of steady yourselves. And you see a man, the, the, the man who you paid money to, um, who you guess is the captain, because he is dressed in moderately finer rags, um, having an argument, um, sort of a, a quiet whisper yelling argument. You can tell he's upset, but he doesn't really want anybody to hear what he's saying with a with a nearby fellow who's dressed in much nicer apparel um he's got a he's got a vest on and some breeches and um he's not covered in sweat hmm you said it would work i, I threw away half of our cargo can everybody hear me real quick mm-hmm. yes okay you said it was work. I, I threw away half the cargo space, you damn fool, and it doesn't work. There, next to them is a, a contraption with, with two barrels and a, a pipe going over the edge of the boat, and there's there's copper wiring between the two barrels. And what do you do? I, uh, I guess... Uh, Tabith makes his way cautiously forward towards the captain and the fellow he's having a conversation with uh, and says, uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, gentlemen, I just, if I could interject uh, quickly. Um, you can barely hear the nicer dressed fellow um, whisper, quiet, you fool, you'll start a riot. And then the the gentleman in rags says, um, "Yes, can I help you?" Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Um, very quickly. Uh, nice to see you, Captain. Uh, I believe the doctor had something very important to say to you. And I step quickly out of the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm sorry. I was looking at this device over here. It's very fascinating. There's something about water. I think I don't know exactly. It was oh. whispers and mumbles. Uh, yes, right. Um, he's going to walk over as well to get close enough where he can speak quietly. Uh, I um, am uh, somewhat concerned about the current status uh, of the potable water in the hold. The second you say water, um, the two men resume their argument with one another. Um, it's, it's pretty clear to all of you that um, each of them is, is confident that it's the other man's fault. Um, you see, they're, they're, they're figuring it out. They're, they're figuring it out. We're going to have a mutiny on our hands. I, it's okay. It's okay. I can fix it. I can fix it. I just, um, I just need some more time. <clears throat> um, twenty more feet of copper. We don't have twenty more feet of copper. We're on a boat, you damn fool. 
Well, gentlemen, I don't think you have to worry. I'm certainly not going to be steering the boat, so your job is safe. Um, as as a as an aside, though, I do. I thought it was a a short journey. I don't see why the water supply should be a dire thing um, just yet. So I'm sure you have plenty of time to figure whatever this is out. Um, can I get a quick wisdom perception? Um, actually, I might just do passive perception. Hold on, let me look at y'all's passive perceptions. Well, I rolled my same number as my passive perception, so... Okay, let me see what that is. Okay, the, I, was, I was thinking DC 12 for this. It's um, it, it would be an 8, but none of you have ever really been on a boat before. You're pretty sure the sails are supposed to be full and have air in them. Uh, um, uh, yeah, the sails are kind of lying flat against the mast. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Everything is fine, guys. This is a boat, Christine. <laughs> I see I am on a boat. Oh, wow. I rolled a one. It's right, fine. Every, everything you guys know about boats is, um, but you're on a boat and, you know. It's... So remember, with the karma system, karma system, you can make that one into a critical failure if you want. Um, What does that do? What does that do? Something really I... extra super bad happens instead of you just failing the roll, but you get two karma. I will totally take two karma for something bad happening All right, on that uh, nice Anna, one. I am, I, I, I am whispering you. Okay. Oh Once boy. I figure out how to whisper. Oh. Uh, dash W, type my name in, and then like dash W space, Malagir space, whatever you need to say. Hmm. Um, I think your name, I'm sure your name in roll 20 is Anna S. No, no, to do, do it to Malagir, it'll go to me. I don't know if the Anna S thing will work because oh, there's a space. There was, there was a drop down menu. Oh, oh man. I rolled a four, so that's sexy. Did we all? A nat one. I am the only one that did not roll a nat one um, that is not. A, wow, I'm impressed that you both rolled nat ones. We're getting it out of the way early. See, see, we have a plan just to bank up all the karma we possibly can. <laughs> sure. Mm hmm. It's a good plan. Good plan. Well, I, I suppose if we're getting it out of the way on rolls like what are boats, then I guess we're going to be okay. <laughs> What am yeah, boat? Would... What what do boat? How boat? Do not... What is this boat you speak of? I'm on a boat? I didn't know. <laughs> Anna suddenly discovers that her character is both agoraphobic and highly seasick. Whoops. <laughs> I, I, like, I barf into the, their water filtration system. Oh dear. <laughs> How I'm sorry. Awkward. <laughs> That's going to take a little bit of cleaning to get out. So, Anna, the captain of the ship shares a distinctive scar with the great privateer John McAdams, scourge of slavery and liberator of the port of Damzine. You must not blow his cover. <laughs> okay. So. So Jeremy, I would like a karma as well, and I, in addition, also ra rolled a one. Christine, you've got to start clicking on your character sheet. I do. I've got to stop. I just, I'm just gonna randomly click all sorts of things on my character sheet and just fill up the entire chat window with it. Could you instead not do that? I tried, and um, the panel has returned with the results, and they have determined, first of all, fuck you, Dylan, and second of all, that's just not an option. All right, so, so okay. David, um, you are you are pretty sure from um, from the whistles of the uh, of the bells out of the navigator's room and um, the way you saw the man acting, you're um, you're pretty sure you guys already should have made it to the island, and there's some sort of uh, some sort of fell thing going on that stopped you from making it, whether it be malevolence on somebody's part or something along those lines. So, so I believe we're currently, or we, we, we are already at the island. No, no, we, I mean, we, 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 we should be arriving right now. Like, okay. I mean, we, we've obviously traveled the correct amount of time. All right. So where were we? Oh yeah. So yeah. So Dylan, what did um, I get for my successful role? Um, <laughs> she's What's the right. real story? <laughs> this is so, um, I... um, you appear to be becalmed. I'm gotcha. not gonna. I'm gonna tell and not show because I don't feel like doing it. But um, you um, the the sails aren't full. Hmm. So why exactly aren't we at our destination, uh, Captain? I I believe we've we spent the requisite time uh, down below. 
You can listen. Oh, there was some some setup we were supposed to have with the with, with the Duke, and he's he's kind of being slow on the whole thing. But um, it's we're, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna figure this out. Figure this out. Um, and and everything's gonna be okay. We we have, we have more than enough provisions. E even we're just gonna have to wait to sunlight and blow the oars. This used to be an old galley that we retrofitted. We've got oar slots. We're gonna be okay. Ah, so we have uh, found ourselves in the doldrums then. What's that thing for? Um, in the captain's eyes, you have increased from landlubber to <laughs> maybe. Yes. So, so what, what? What's the thing with the copper and the barrel? What, what is that for? The um, the captain kicks the uh, one of the barrels, at which point the well-dressed fellow begins to have a um, a hissy fit, but is um, scared of the man in front of him and has no doesn't know how to handle stressful situations. This piece of shit was supposed to provide us with water, which is why I replaced our water with more paying customers. And this piece of shit is providing goddamn booze. Listen, I, I forgot to retrofit it, okay? I, I, I left the mash in there, and it, it's not my fault. The porters took the wrong thing from the storage. All I need is 20 feet of copper. I'm, I'm sorry. Did, is it producing that magically or through some form of alchemical reaction i'm i'm very confused i'm also more confused that you're oh, I'm, concerned I'm, I'm, with... I'm glad you asked you see what it does is it um it, it takes the salt water and it uses a a positive magical charge to attract the crystal and crystallize the crystals it, 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 it's kind of interesting i actually adopted a desiccation curse that um that the that the priests oh you don't you don't want to hear about that it's kind of gnarly anyway uh, i actually so, i would very much like to hear about everything you're talking about oh excellent so the, the desiccation curse is really cool because it um it actually draws salt in the blood out into crystalline shape and rips people apart. Um, anyway, but I adopted this to work on metal instead. So it and then it, it draws the salt crystals in, and then you can just remove the salt crystals, and you have fresh water and salt. Um, but, How did you get alcohol out of that? No, no, no. They they, they didn't bring the right device. They brought my still. Um, <sighs> I use for a solvent, but but I could I could improvise it. I have the, the the right central device, but I would need 20 more feet of copper. Hmm. Could, well, could could you not utilize it currently to prevent unrest and buy yourself another day? People do like booze. I'm I'm startled to think that you think there is any any risk. No, no, of, the, the uh, captain was wrong. This isn't this isn't booze. This is this is this is nine tenth. Nine tenths ethanol. It's a potent, a potent solvent. It would, it would, it would rip people's throats apart. I don't. Oh, never mind. Then my. Um, it's uh, drinkable. My, my, uh, my solution. Is, Dylan, it is your professional opinion that this is not drinkable. It most I, certainly is not drinkable, it, sir. It, it's probably flammable. It is most certainly flammable, my good lady. Now, hmm. I'm not certain if we're going to be able to find any copper per se out in the middle of the sea, as it were, but perhaps we can find something that is uh, interchangeable. Why copper? It's a highly Why copper specifically? transferring surface um, that is easy to draw into pipes way. Of, of course. Is there any more copper on the ship? No, 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 there's no more copper on the ship. We do. We, the, this is the captain. It's like, there's, we're, we're a ship. Why would, I'm not, I'm not shipping copper. I'm shipping people. Why would I bring copper on a ship? Hey, I don't know. There's a mule on here. I don't question what you keep in your ship. Uh, oh, that reminds me. We did need to check on, um, this fine gentleman's mule. Oh, right. Yeah, the, the mule. The mule's name is Fancy. It's very... Right. Fancy? Oh. Uh, yes. That's precious. I'm sorry. <clears throat> It's a bit, that's a fine name. So, so yes, Captain, uh, I, I would like very much to check upon my mule fancy if, uh, if I could be allowed. Johnny, a, um, a, a boy that is probably too young to be on a ship, uh, steps forward. Show, show the man his mule, I guess. Get him out of my hair. Um, so, um, Dr. Chris, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, you're about to address me, so go ahead. I was, um, so Dylan, you're fairly certain that this thing is fixable. 
you don't um this guy's explanation for how it worked was kind of it didn't really make that much sense you think he accidentally did this um so but but you think you could you could make a workaround um you you'd need some help and some some people to shoot ideas off of well i want to do that okay um so i'm so move over to the device all right so you you, you have a uh, you have a couple of options um, you can make a teamwork arcana check um, and grant advantage to a person much worse at this than you, or you could, um, and, and you guys could, could help out to do this, or, or you could take charge and, uh, and piss this guy off. Uh, that's a tough decision. Um... And, and by piss this guy off, you mean the noble and not the ship captain, right? Um... Or both? A little, little of each? I mean, there's a yeah. No, I mean the half chemist. If 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 you make water, the the ship captain will be will be happy with you. So I want to examine it to try to ascertain what the fix is, and then my strategy will be try will be to try to like lead him to the correct actions without letting him realize it wasn't his own idea. So I guess I'm that's the teamwork approach. Yeah, sure. I like it. Um, so if you guys are gonna do this, I'm actually I'm gonna uh. So if you, I'm gonna ab- abstractify this a little bit. Y- you kind of describe that course of action to everybody else in whispers while pretending to care about a mule, and <laughs> or caring about a mule. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna describe how much you care about a mule. But and you think that Malagir has a decent chance of tricking this guy into thinking of that sort of thing as his idea. So could I get Arcanas out of, or could I get intelligence Arcanas out of anybody who who wants to do that, and then a deception out of Malagir? Damn it. I can also add that Intelligence Arcana if you'd like. Absolutely. Can, can I add Nat 20 I, from Christine? Uh, I can aid on the deception check if there's a deception yeah, check. Absolutely. <laughs> there's the Arcana. Uh, how does aid work? Does that just give you advantage? I'm, I'm 80% sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and here's the deception roll from with the advantage from Tabith helping me out. Uh, and that green dot was me rolling it with advantage. So you can actually, uh, at the top right of your corner sheet, character sheet, by the way, right underneath experience, you can choose roll normal advantage, disadvantage, and it will just automatically do the advantage roll for you. Oh, speaking oh of that's, that, Dylan, that's um, snazzy. It is, in fact. Obviously, in retrospect, we wanted to, you guys wanted to do it the other way, but was was Dylan leading that Arcana check? Um, I was rolling independently. Okay. Yeah, I think we were all just kind of we were all helping out. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't roll with advantage anybody. would give anyone else advantage. Okay. Um, I, um, you guys make it, but um, so how do you uh, how do you how do you trick this guy into adopting the workaround that um, so it's kind of a. Dylan, you realize that if we dismantle half of the lanterns that are providing us vital protection from the mists, we could definitely make a water purification device. And um, at that point, um, Revelation realizes that um, we can just use the copper piping that is going into the water and throw the barrels in the water. And we can find out whether or not he wants to do this next time. Dun, dun, dun.